Would you like to make a portfolio but have thousands of photographs and you just don't know what to do? But you want to wean down that portfolio so you can attract clients, but you don't know who your client is? If this is you, watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to give you seven tips to get that portfolio perfect and to attract clients. So let's get to it. Hi, my name is Janice Sullivan. If you don't know who I am, I've been a professional photographer for years. So my work has been on a variety of worldwide magazines. I've made thousands of dollars for my photography. If you want to know more about me, check out this link and you'll see that what I've done is made excellent portfolios to attract those clients. We're in Ocotillo Wells. This is a beautiful place. We're going to be here to make this video just for you to make an awesome portfolio. Okay, so number one, so take either Lightroom or On One or whatever kind of software that you're using and you need to go through your images every day for 15 minutes and tag them with a flag, a star, a color, whatever. Only pick the ones that you feel that you really love. Take a break, go ahead and do it tomorrow or a couple hours later. Go through them and just do gut instinct, you can do this. Number two, you have to take a break. There's no way that you can come back to the same images and not give yourself some time to get rid of the emotions that you felt as you were picking them. Take at least 24 hours. You will be able to come back with a fresh mind. Your eyes need a break, your mind needs a break. Okay, number three. Now we're gonna do is reverse the way you've been looking at your images. So go to all of the faves that you have tagged. Remove the images that actually don't resonate with you. Really think about the image. Is it telling the story that you want? Because sometimes we keep images just because it was hard to shoot. People don't care how hard it is to shoot that photograph. So you have to say, I shot this. This is what I wanted to do with the image. This is how I want it to feel. And if it is, keep it. If it's not, ditch it out. I don't care how much work it took to make it, it's time to pull that image out of the stack, collection, stars, however you categorize the faves of the thousands of images that we're focusing on at the moment. Okay, number four. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to take all the images. You're gonna keep doing this until maybe you have 100 to 200 images. And now what I want you to do is make a folder. It doesn't have to be categorized. I don't care if you have landscape. I don't care if you have flowers. Don't worry about the theme. Just pick the images that you truly love and you're gonna make a folder and you're gonna put them all in a folder. Once you do this, give yourself 24 hours and then we'll get to number five. Five is the fun part. I love number five. What you're gonna do is now you're going to take all of the images that you've worked so hard for just to say what you, you know, these are telling a story, this is what you like, and we're gonna start categorizing them. Now we're gonna categorize them. So you have them all in one folder and you're gonna look, is there a theme that you have in this folder? Is it color, a theme of color, a theme of place, a theme of, maybe a certain way of photographing or how about the subject? Is there a theme in the subject? And anytime you see a theme, say maybe you can put like five or six hashtags to it, put those themes in another folder and just start dumping them in there. Take your time, 15, 20 minutes and do this until it's completely done and see how many themes you have within the hundred of images that you have weeded out. Okay, we're on number six. I'm so excited for number six. You've worked so hard. If you've really done this the way I've asked you to do it, you are rocking it. So what we're gonna do now is take the themes that you found and look and see if you have, I'd say right now, let's just see, go for 30 images. So grab the folders that have 30 images, and what you're gonna do is you're going to wean that out. Next, what you'll do is you're gonna go give yourself a break. 
you ha always have to give yourself a break. Come back in about an hour, go to the folder that has the theme, and see what story it is. What story can you tell with these images? Pick out the best 15 to 20 images. If you're having problems, you don't know what kind of story, you know you feel it, this is when you join the Creator Mentorship and we help you get that out of your system. Like, what are you trying to say? You may have it within your soul, and if not, I'm telling you the ticket is to get help, just to get you focused so you have strong images. Talk to me here on YouTube. This is where I answer all your questions. If you're having a problem with the portfolio and not knowing how to combine them, after you watch this video, go do the seven steps, ask me down below and I will help you. This is what I love to do. Okay, number seven, the last one, the last part of this tip. You will have a rockin' portfolio, I'm not kidding around, because you have 15 to 20 images that now you're going to write a story about. You're going to tell a story about those images. What did you like? Why did you shoot the way you shot? How powerful, all feelings. It's all about feeling work. What do you feel when you see that portfolio? That's what you're gonna share out to the world because you're gonna be so passionate about those images. Now, another tip on number seven, let's just say you only have really 10 images that you like. You can kind of work with a portfolio of 10, but what's really cool about this is that you love this portfolio that you've just made. Okay, we've gotten the new portfolio, but what you're gonna do is shoot more because you don't have enough. You don't have enough storytelling. People can have thousands and thousands of images. It doesn't matter. You know what it is? It's all about learning and getting the craft of telling a story. It's okay if you don't use all of them because you only want to use your best that you're so proud of that you will share your thousand words to the world. So now you've got this, write a story and start pushing it out with hashtags, special words, connections. If you want to monetize your work, you have to connect to other people that will be interested in that portfolio. Say to yourself, why? Why would they be interested? Why are you interested in it? Guarantee they're probably interested in that too. If you're having problems with your portfolio that you just really need to push beyond others, you say you've got all these thousands and it's like everyone else, then check out my workshop down here. I have a free workshop for you, how I make creative work that's different than anybody else that actually has attracted clients for me. So download it down below and you get a free PDF to help you do the steps. It works. If you like these seven tips, give me a thumbs up because it helps the channel to spread it out to others who want to monetize their work. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I give you tips every single Thursday or most Thursdays to monetize your work and to push out your creative zone to express yourself. This is a wonderful channel for macro landscape and nature photographers. All right. So happy that you joined me in Ocotillo Wells in this new adventure that I'm doing, making photographs while we journey in our RV to photograph this wonderful place and the United States. I will see you soon. Cheers. Them again for 15 minutes. You're gonna remove anything. My grandbaby's in the background. So what you're, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually remove image it. Okay. To sell what I'm asking you to do to express yourself. And, whew, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> okay. B roll. B roll. This is my grandma. And say something. Sure. Yay! You're my baby, huh? <laughs> okay.